I'd like to show you how you can make gears in SketchUp. You can design it from scratch, but it takes a bit of math and uh, it's time consuming uh, and it's a lot easier to go to a program called Inkscape. And under extension, render, there's a feature called gear. It allows you to cre create spur gears and rack gears. So let's say I want to make a gear with 10 teeth and I want the tooth size to be two millimeter. It's called the circular pitch and pressure angle 20 degrees and keep that the same. Don't change that. And ch change the uh, diameter of the center hole to zero. Uh, we can make that in SketchUp, it's easier. And the unit, I set it as millimeter because that's uh, the same unit I use in 3D printing. Uh, click live preview and you should see a preview of your gear. Now, you click apply, your gear is made and it's right there. Now we want to make another gear with 20 teeth. Uh, if you're teaching gear ratio, basically you want different uh, gears that mesh together, but they have uh, different uh, number of uh, T, so they, uh, their rotational speed will be different. So here we are. Uh, again, I click Live Preview. And sometimes you just have to go up and down for it to um, remember how many uh, the new settings, basically. Here you are. So that's good. Click Apply. And it should be good. So make sure these are not uh, touching, okay? But you can see they mesh properly. Yeah, yeah. At this point, I'm going to save this as a as an AutoCAD file, the DXF file. There you are. So click save. Replace my old file. It takes a few seconds to uh, render. Now let's go to SketchUp and import that file. Import and choose uh, AutoCAD files. And I believe that's the one I made. So there you are. Import that and click close. It's there. So let's actually zoom in on it. Zoom extent is perfect. So here you are. Now, we could also zoom closer, like that. There is no infill, but that can easily be solved. So draw a line. I'm checking the, okay. So this one had 20, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So I count the teeth, make sure you have the uh, same number on both sides. I think that's the right that's the center all right so so this is the middle of uh, the, the gear and I can do the same thing on that side again I should have one two three four five that should be the middle you can also look at the measurements to see which ones uh, yep okay now I, I can, here I can draw the circles. So here, let's say a one millimeter hole. Uh, that's just the radius. So diameter is two millimeters. I create the same thing here. And so um, you could also create you know, more holes around. So again, let's say it's the same size. Yeah, so one millimeter. And this one could be smaller so let's uh, finish one okay I'm going to delete uh, this line this line don't need that I don't need that now I select this I use the rotation tool press control so I can duplicate I left that line segment in there because that's the middle of my circle or the gear so if I do that, you can see, okay, 
there are different ways you can do this. You can kind of measure with how you want them align. Maybe you want to do it like, like that. Or you can just press 360, enter, slash how many you want. Let's say 10. That's, but those holes are too close together. So five. Okay, let's say I'm happy with that. Okay, I can do the same thing on this one, but I'm not going to uh, right now. Okay, right now, so the key, uh, gears are made. I need to uh, delete uh, the things I don't need. So for example, that line I don't need. To delete the faces, you select them and press delete. You can hold the shift key while you do that. It makes it much faster. And press the delete on the keyboard. All right, so same thing here. Delete, delete, or use the eraser for the line segments that you don't need. Okay, done. Now, at this point, all you have to do is do push and pull. There you are. Now, you can select them at the same time. So here, to give them the same thickness. So again, push and pull. P is the shortcut. Okay, let's actually doesn't matter. Let's do. Let's say you want the gear to be uh, five millimeters or three millimeters. So three enter. You do the same thing. Either you measure it, say three enter, or you just line it up with the next gear. Now these gears perfectly of that so I just do and do it um, they perfectly mesh and uh, so if I go to camera standard use top you can see that these gears are perfect now um, to print them obviously you have to select them oh I forgot one thing uh, you can select it as one STL or separate STL is up to you. Um, if you want to print them together, I prefer actually separate because that way you have a choice of printing them separately. So turn it, if you want to do that, turn them into separate um, components. Okay, so I should have named that. I didn't. Uh, just for... Uh, making it a little bit faster so here you are so now let's say I want to um, print 3d print that I right click sorry uh, just go to file um, export STL uh, and make sure you choose millimeter as your export unit and the rest is just easy you just uh, go to your um, program uh, whatever you use your slicer and import that STL before you send it to uh, the 3D printer. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.